Alrighty, welcome to Tea Time. In case you are just joining, you've missed a bit, but I think the good stuff is still here. We have a special guest in the building with us today. Um, his name is Tayo Faniro. Yes, the Tayo from Big Brother Niger Season 9 Reality Big TV. Big Brother Africa, actually. Mm. Big Brother Africa <laughs> Season 9. Um, he's a model, actor, bad guy, all in general. Also a fashion designer, lounge owner, food girls. If, if you, in, in case you've been here before, you know if he has been bragging about this Abula, that he wants to go and eat yeah. at Tayo's place. And this is the famous Tayo, please. So please welcome with me, Mr. Tayo, Mr. T. Hi. Hi. Um, good, morning. Welcome, good morning. Welcome, welcome to so the your, show. So your face is really familiar. I don't think it's in a social media celebrity kind of way. I think I might actually know you All right. from, from. from home or something. Where I'm, are you from? Which is are you from? Oh no! Okay. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 he's a salty man. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm from Oyo, mm. Oyo State. You know, oh, okay, so okay. if it's from home, it would have been mm. from yeah, that side. Yeah. From that. Okay. All right. So let's start with you know the viral post that yeah. that you asked the Big Brother Africa organizers to give you a proof that you were not the winner. Now let's start with yeah. that because you know that went really controversial and by the time we went back to your page it was taken down mm. even though it was on all blog sites and we're still mm. seeing it. Uh, so my brother tell us about that. Why do you feel like you were robbed off you know being the winner of the Big Brother Africa season 9? Alright so um, I would like to talk about why I actually took it down. You know I'm from a family of you know people who are well behaved and well cultured, you know, mm. they don't like trouble, mm. you know. And uh, most of my advisors as well are gentle men and gentle women, you know, they don't like trouble. You can tell that from your and, character. Yeah, mm. and they love me so much. So when there's anything, you know, they just uh, are worried. They call me calm down. That's also one of the reasons why I'm a bit introverted because before I invest myself into anything, I think about my people, where I'm coming from. Mm. So I can't. You know, live like maybe like um, a, a common celebrity who's, who wants mm. to be in different mm. drama and stuff mm. like that all the time. So I was advised, you know, to to back down. Then yeah. I took it down. But so, yeah, the question I want to ask now, I hate it so much, especially when it's been addressed to victims. But yeah. um, because it's to you directly, and I'm giving this disclaimer, I don't want you to be offended. But why did you decide to come out now? I know I don't like when people are saying there's a specific time to when you can say your price. But what was actually the motivation because it's a long time ago well, and you, 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 you talk now. you sometimes have you know i've seen your talks and stuff about things on social media so yeah. you could have said it earlier yeah. why did you decide this time all right so the reason why i came out this time is not because of a fight uh between me and a person or the fight between me and the brand multi choice mm -hmm. because I, i'm we're family you know mm -hmm. whether we like it or not yeah. our names are intertwined forever you know yeah mm -hmm. so um it's a fight for the freedom of my soul, you know, mm. the freedom of my closure. mind as well, you know, mm. closure, you know, because at that time I was 28, you mm. know, and when I came out of the house, you know, when I came out of the house, you mm. know, in, in, in South Africa, yeah. and they wanted me to do the press conference, I told them I didn't want to do it, Why? you know. And then the, the organizers in South Africa, they took me to a boardroom, you know, sat around, and one of them told me, yo, bro, when you came for the audition, you know, and you were talking about your personality and all that, even we were like, this, there, there can't be a person like this, mm -hmm. you know? But in the house, we have learned to, to watch and understand you, and we see that, yeah, you are different, you know? Mm -hmm. Do not rob yourself of this, uh, um, this opportunity to express yourself, yeah. and, you know, mm -hmm. in the future, yeah. you might wish you have done it, you know? Mm -hmm. So go out there, be that great person that you are. Mm -hmm. They never shut me up. At that press conference, I was going down, pa, 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 saying, yeah, I feel robbed. Oh, this, yeah? this happened. They urinated in my drink and blah, blah, blah. I was talking about different things. Nobody well, threatened me. That. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Calm down, you. guys. You know, yeah. So, you know, they allowed me over there, you know, to express myself. All my uh, media rounds that I did in South Africa, I was saying the same thing, okay. you know. But when I got to Nigeria, you know, at my press conference in Nigeria, I was saying the same thing, you know, because there was a lot of newsmen and, uh, and all that they were there. Mm -hmm. And I was saying all these things. And in the evening at my homecoming party, three uh, multi chairs officials, you know, the top ones, you know, they called me to the side and they said that, Tyre, we see your pain, we know your pain, and we see you are ready to fight, but 
let me tell you, in the, in the man's voice, let me tell you, you can win. Mm. We're everywhere. We're on everywhere. Do you know this person? This was what happened, and this was what we did. You know, we don't they want you to be forgotten. Example. You get what I'm saying? So it, it, it's a threat. You get what I'm saying? And I was 28, you know. I wanted my oh, career. You yes, get what I'm saying? You know, so much so. I had to keep quiet. You know, when God created us, you know, he gave us nerves. Mm. So that when they bite you, you can scream, yay! You know? Mm. So imagine when someone bites you and then you are deprived of the right to scream, yay! Scream. You know what I'm saying? So that was what happened to me then. Mm. So because I couldn't... So the next morning I went to my next interview at NTA. I, I started saying, oh, thank you. Yeah. Uh, big brother, thank you, multi church, for the platform, blah blah blah, because that is what I was told to now be saying, you know. So, for the past seven years now, I've lived with this. And let me tell you something there are some type of pains mm. that happens once and you, you live with it for a while and it goes. But this one will live with me forever. Forever. Any interview that I go for till today, whether for anything else, it mm. might be for a show, it might be for something else, mm. they must ask me about Big Brother, mm. you know. If I go to America, China, maybe Rwanda, Kenya, wherever. It's not only in Africa. Whoever sees me, they start to cry. Ah, they robbed you. You know, you won. You know, I've been to some African countries where I've been announced as a winner, you know, mm. at events. You get what I'm saying? And you begin to think that if majority of the people say this mm, thing, the then winner. that's the truth. Even some part of... There, there was a time I was a uh, PayPal's brand ambassador when they were producing... Um, the Big Brother Nigeria show in, in, in South Africa. And as the ambassador, I was always going to the studio. So mm. in the system, Yorubas will say where there's Ibiti Waking Baiwa, Ni Waking Baiwa. It means mm. where there's someone that says, Let me come, let me kill you. There's come, let me save you. Mm. So even within the system, there, there are people who love me so much. You mm. get what I'm saying? And some of them came to me and they were like, Yo, bro, we don't know what happened. Mm. We don't know how the name in the envelope changed. You mm. get what I'm saying? So People don't understand when I, you know, talk about something. If you don't know my pain, just keep quiet. Don't That's judge me, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, another thing is that some people have been talking on social media. Oh, his attitude is whoa, 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 whoa. Let me tell you something that they did, right? From the second week of Big Brother that year, Big Brother started sending me a trophy. Mm. They would send me a bottle of Petron coffee, Cuban cigar, and a greeting card to say, Big Brother Africa fans think you are awesome. Mm. In front mm. of the other housemates, big gifts. I have to come out of the diary room, oh, sit wow. them down, tell them I just got this and share with them. Oh, that wow. was when they started hating me because it was like Big Brother now made me they a bait. Them. They made me like uh, a Joseph. You know, when Joseph revealed mm. its dr his dream, the brother started hating on him. Mm. You know, so that was what happened mm. now that they said, okay, why... A why Big Brother African why fans. Too much attention? Yeah. Please, which Big Brother Africa fans send me a gift? Mm. Who can send you something inside Big Brother Africa house? Mm. It is not possible. So that was just a way to show me, to put me out there that this guy is special. This guy is going, you know, like the star. You get what I'm saying? Like, you guys look out for this person. And that was when Alusa was the person that actually started to create this enmity. You know, this, this army. This, so, this army is from oh, Kenya. Yeah, okay. You know, this army of... Um, of, 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 of bitterness, you get what I'm saying? And yeah. like, I used to beat the drums and I'll be singing and people would dance around me in the house and mm -hmm. all that. I said, no, when he beats his drum, don't dance. That's what mm -hmm. is making him to shine. This, this, this. So I was under mm -hmm. so much pressure. You mm -hmm. get what I'm saying? You know, many things happen. There was another video that goes viral, that, that trends every year, you know? That video of me talking to a woman, the man that I've become today, I'm not proud of that. Mm -hmm. And guess what? That woman in that video, was a woman that had been in the show before. So Big mm. Brother brought some old housemates into the house for them to come and spice up the show. Mm. But what they told us was that we were not selling, we were not you know, uh, entertaining enough. That's why they brought those people. Yeah. So when those people were coming, they came for missions, right? Mm -hmm. So mm. their mission was to, they spice asked that particular lady on the stage, when you go into the house, what is your mission? She, she said, I'm going in there to break tire. It mm. seems to be the strongest person in the house. First night in the house, she was not wearing bra, not wearing pants. She was just wearing a t-shirt. She was rubbing her boobs on me, rubbing her ass on me. You get what I'm saying? And then the next thing, you know, you know, trying to like seduce me until when she wanted to rub my nipples, I said, hey, you're going mm. too far now. So she tried different things. And then before that video, the day that video happened, I was sleeping. Normally when I sleep, I don't like to be woken up. Yeah. You know, now she came to wake me up. As I woke up and I was still confused, she started saying, hey, you're a failure. Mm -hmm. You're a failure. 
You can't even entertain. You are making Big Brother lose money. That's why they, what you can't do, they have to send Uti in here to come and do it. You're a mm. failure. You're a failure. Mm. I went to the bathroom. She followed me saying the same thing. I went into the garden. She was saying all these negative things because that was what they used to that go to the mission. diary session and Big Brother was them. How far have you gone with your mission? To break tire. Are you mm. getting what I'm saying now? People don't throw stones at a, at a fruitless tree. You get what I'm saying? Mm. They knew from the beginning, you know, that this guy is strong. They knew that I'm emotional. So they wanted actually to frustrate mm. me. So most of those things that people see out there, they were planted there by the same people. Mm. Why me? All okay, right. so one, one more question though. So you've said, you've said a lot. I mean, there's so many questions that I can just ask from what you've said. But I want to know for you, if let's say you had the ability to get justice back, what would that look like for you? If they actually did what they were supposed to, if they mm. want, if, to, to, re, to, to, to return justice, that pain, what would, what, would that, what would justice look like for you? Uh, what, what justice would look like for me, you know, is that um, since they robbed me of, you know, the, the clarity at that time, all I wanted was that, okay, maybe I didn't win, right? Mm. Maybe I lost votes, right? They could have just shown it that you lost because your votes were low, mm. but it never happened. Mm. I was winning, I was winning other countries. I was in that house, I would be up for eviction, other country housemates would go home mm -hmm. and I would win the, the vote of that oh, country. That Are country. you getting what I'm saying? Yeah. So it, it was never about that, you get what I'm saying? And if it was about, oh, the altercation, what, 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 this particular, there's another girl, Sheila, she, fro she was always rude to me. She was 21, I was 28. Mm -hmm. She would, you know, talk to me anyhow. The first night Uti got into the house, Uti told her that, hey, Women don't talk to men like that where we come from. Mm. So I've tolerated a lot, you know. So during the last week, maybe like the second to the last week, you know, I couldn't take it anymore. She was mm. insulting me too much and then blah, 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 you know, I just lost it. Mm. Now I, I gave it, you know, like I gave her some insults too, mm. right? Now, the person that they pronounced the winner in like week two or something, she said because the, our country mate, I mean his country mate was touching herself, you know, after dr getting drunk, that she embarrassed her country. So he broke down the door frame of Big Brother's house. He was uh -huh. never disqualified for that. Mm -hmm. And that's massive violence. The same person they pronounced the winner connived or conspired with three other people to urinate in my drink. Mm -hmm. Big Brother Africa and their organizers, all they did was that they sent a ninja into the house to move the drink. I got it, I couldn't find my drink. I did not find out until I got outside. The fans were the ones that told me that. They urinated yeah, they, in my drink when they were watching the show. Please, and what more violence is yeah, that? Nobody, nobody you get what I'm saying? Because their winner was part of those three people. Hmm. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, yo, man. So, you're, well, so right, am, I right. wrong? am I wrong if, I, if you say that what you're basically saying is that in your <laughs> set, Big Brother already had a winner and they did, did everything and to I, you? I, I believe you that. Were in your way, you were in their way yeah. of, of this, their winner. I, so I they, believe so. Yeah. Do you believe okay. that is okay. what it is? Do you think that Big Brother is arranged? Oh, okay, so what I feel is that, what I feel is that, you know, they said Niger fans do talk. Even the housemates that were in the house together, they were saying all these things like, Nigerians are always winning, this, this, this. I'll be like, yo, this is not about, you know, the country or whatever, you know. It's about, it's about you, being, your being personality. Do you understand mm. what I'm saying? You know, like, I held the show down. Mm. Yeah. I was the star of that season. There is nothing anybody can say. I don't know what's a you single, get what I'm saying? Like, time you know, in that show was amazing. I'm, I'm, I'm passionate, right? Yeah. You can see the way I'm talking, you know. Nobody laughs harder than I do. Mm. Nobody mm. smiles brighter than I do when I mm. smile. Nobody loves the way I do. So mm. when I also express myself, you the way I'm feeling it. discomfort or whatever, you, you see it on my face. All you right, know, God so, created us like so that. Because we're running out of time, there's really something I want to touch on because a lot of people are, you know, talking about the police brutality, the ANTARS movement. We saw what happened recently. We saw reporters. And then we saw you encountering that same thing in South Africa, where the South African police brutalized you and we had to, uh, Abike Dabiri had to get involved mm. and all of that. What's your take on this whole NSAS movement? What do you think the youth are doing wrong and what do you think the government is doing wrong? Um, you know, NSAS is unfortunate, you know. Um, it, it has caused us so much pain, you know, on the land, you know. I was actually at Lekito Gate, I think on uh, Wednesday, and then mm. the shootings happened on, on, on Thursday. Thursday, yeah. You know, and um, that was a way to put fear in us, to make us shut up and all that. You know, um, unfortunately, 
I used to be an activist, you know. I'm, I can't say I used to be because I still have it in me. But mm. because, like I told you, my family, mm. I have people to live for. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Mm. I also have a great life ahead of me by yeah. the grace of God, you mm. know. So I don't want to die for anybody, you get what I'm saying? I'm not Jesus, you know. Mm. So mm. I take myself away from activism because I don't see words. That's why many people don't like me, you know. I don't mm. know how to sugarcoat at all, you know. When I want to say the truth, I say it. Truth has no... Um, no two uh, different outfits. It, there's only one outfit. You know, it comes out in one way or the other, and it's always bitter. Mm -hmm. That's why they say when two brothers go into the room and they come out laughing, they've lied to each other. Mm -hmm. When we tell each other the truth, we will frown. frown. You get what I'm saying? Yes. So authority. people don't want the truth. You get what I'm saying? The government that we have, they don't want the truth. Yeah. Um, even some of our people don't want the truth. When that stuff happened to me in South Africa when I was doing campaign for say no to xenophobia, I still had some of our Nigerian brothers living there who told me that ah. But if I don't give them 200 rand now, you, why, why did you have to? Uh, do you understand yeah. what I'm saying? So stepping up for people, you know, is something that I'm, I have it inside of me, but I'm, I'm, I'm pressing it down. Yeah. I'm pressing it down. Finally, yeah. let's talk about, you know, your movies and your music. Yeah, what's happening the, to the like, music? Yeah, and of course, stuff. Gangland, man. I've seen. <laughs> Gangs of Lagos, bro. Gangs of Lagos. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, yeah, Gangland is the one of Netflix. Yeah, yeah. Gangs of Lagos. Yeah, Gangs of Lagos. Yeah. yeah. Tell us about that yeah, because that's the same. Your new, your new that. endeavors are very exciting. Yeah. Thank you. So since I got back to Nigeria in 2019, it's been amazing, you know. I've been in some productions, you know, I've been uh, in Who is the Boss, you know, with Ink Blood production. I've been, uh, you know, Mike Zeray's production uh, for Iroko TV. I've been playing a role that people love so much in My Siblings and I, Ade. Mm. Ade. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, I produced my own movie, Man Like Jimmy, it's on Ibaka TV. Uh, and uh, I've done a couple of things that I might even I'm not remember. And I have my fashion line, you know, mm. Tire Fadnero. My website is www.jankara.com. You your food You know, spot. yeah, I'm getting there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, I have a skincare line, Bewa G, cosmetics, you know. And then um, right now, to the glory of God, I own a lounge at Elegushi Beach. It's called uh, Unsuku Food and Chills. Mm. You know, where you come, good music, good vibe, you know, good, good food. Abula. Good abula. Cocktail, oh you know, ooh, Amala, Erog Bear, mm. you know, bushmeat, ah. snails, whatever, you man. You said we called them before yeah. I get there that they should <laughs> give me better time. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On Friday, by the grace of God, we'll be serving palm wine, you know, with mm. Amala and everything, you know. So, Real African. Yeah, I mean, next Friday. Tonight, yeah. you know, weekends, everything is always amazing mm. there. And then now, I mean, a big movie that is going to come out, it's called Gangs of Lagos. Okay. Gangs of Lagos is, is the film that I, I believe, when it comes out, yeah. it's going to be the best Nigeria and Africa has ever seen. Hmm. Right. I promise okay, you. Okay, yeah, and, yeah. and if we're going to rate your acting yeah. in that one, what would you say? Skill of one <laughs> Amazing. Okay. Amazing. You know why it's, okay. it, it is amazing is because... The movie is, the film is star studded, you know. Mm. We have great directors, you know, Jade Oshiberu is, yeah. is the director. Mm. But w when we come to like stunts and stuff like that, we have people from in, like international, international yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, people who come mm. to like, you know, so everything is proper. We shoot like one episode for like a day. Alrighty, you know? alrighty, alrighty. Yeah, I'm going to say that, you know what, Lagos, Lagos <laughs> looks good on you. That's how we're going to wrap up the show. But thank you guys so much for mm. keeping two till now. Join the conversation on social media with the hashtag Tea Time. Please feel free to also catch up on all of our previous episodes. In case you came in in between, you want to catch up more, go to our YouTube channel, at Plus TV Africa Lifestyle and just catch up on everything that we've done today and even previously. You can also watch Tea Time on RTTV and in London on Ben Television. Thank you to my guest, Mr. Tayo, for gracing us with me. your presence. If follow us, you follow Shike Neymar, who has to step down due to social distancing, and the production team. Thank you so much. My name is Ifilma, your absolute favorite. Bye. Bye. <laughs>